Maverick Bork of the Shawinigan Cataracts joining me here. Maverick, let's talk about your start to the season here. We're almost at the Christmas break, but tell me about your first half. Uh, my first half is going pretty good. Uh, I think uh, I give a chance to the team to, to win every game, and uh, I just play my game, uh, compete every, every shift, and don't try to do too much. Just do my game and just stay focused on the game. 17 years of age, you're leading the team in scoring. Tell me a little bit about the the player that you've developed into last year as a rookie and now here in your second year? Uh, this summer I, tr I work a lot on my speed and I think it helped me a lot. Uh, this game of the year uh, I think I'm more confident with the puck. Uh, I shoot more the puck and I think uh, this is the, the part uh, I'm getting better is be more, more confident and shoot more the puck. What did you do this summer? What did you do this summer that has allowed you to, to have a have a big second season so far. Uh, my uh, my agent uh, told me that uh, I can go in Quebec City work with uh, GP Riopel, and uh, it works a lot on my ability, my uh, explosion, and I think it helps me. Top quality, many 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 qualities as a player, but what what do you feel is your your top one? Uh, my top one, I think, it's my hockey sense. Uh, I think I, I I'm smart on the ice and. I see a lot of play that that helps me to score some goal. He got off to a really good start, and uh, um, you can definitely see his hockey IQ, and he's got a lot of skills. So he's kind of been riding that momentum. I think there was a uh, a small phase where I think he seemed a little bit tired. Maybe he was getting a little bit too much ice time, um, and uh, you know after that little slight drop off. Um, he's really been playing well for us lately as well. Definitely think uh, because of his hockey IQ, um, if he keeps, he's a hard worker, so his physical, he's going to work at being a better skater. I, I definitely see him, you know, he has the potential to be, you know, an NHL player. And obviously the scouts, uh, that's kind of the feedback we've been getting. Uh, projections are always hard. Um, but I think that's one of the main, I think, uh, uh, the attributes they look for is competitiveness, which he has, and then hockey IQ, which is probably harder uh, to work on than, you know, things like shooting and skating. So those two things, I think, you know, make him, you know, a, a, a real good future prospect to play in the NHL. You know, what, what we've been, I think when I first came here, uh, they were talking about, you know, second round somewhere, and I think he's he's kind of moved up a little bit, so maybe a, a late first. You know, those are always projections, and uh, like you said, the season is long, and uh, the, the whole goal is to be consistent, uh, as well also to be able to manage yourself, uh, which they know it's a draft here, so just not getting too excited, but, you know, playing one game after another and getting ready and having that pro mindset, uh, which that's part of our job is teaching these guys that. And uh, he's definitely one when you give him advice or you talk to him, he takes it all in, um, you know, smart kids. So, um, yeah, I think he's kind of moving up slowly and, uh, and you want to, you know, be consistent, like I said, and finish strong as well. Mm -hmm.